This is my uh, 3 mega samples per second Arduino Uno Oscope. Uh, the difference is this time my external analog to digital, digital converter is a CA3306. There's no way you can see that baby down there, but it has a lot less pins than the AD775. Um, in fact, right there's the uh, schematic for it. I'll put it up on my blog too. Um, once again, there's occasional glitches from sampling because the sample clock is not synchronized with the Arduino. The Arduino is just reading as fast as it possibly can read. And I would say there's a lot less glitches than with the AD775, but they still occur. You know, when I'm, I'm looking for the glitches, they're not going to glitch. There's one. And interesting that what with the AD775, the glitches drop to zero. With this, the glitches, well, they look like they drop, but they're actually going up to five volts because the display is technically upside down. There was two glitches on that one. And that again is because the uh, clock for the analog to digital converter is not synchronized with the Arduino. One solution is to use a FIFO such as the Dallas Semiconductor 2010 used in I think my last video. With the, uh, the uh, FIFO you can go all the way up to uh, I think 15 million samples per second with the uh, the um, CA3306, whereas with the Dallas, not Dallas, with the uh, AD775, you can go all the way up to 25 megahertz. But the AD775 is discontinued. The CA3306 is readily available on eBay. So there you have it, three million samples per second. That's a 20 kilohertz sine wave there using a CA3306 external analog to do digital converter and I think right now I'm using an 8 megahertz clock but it doesn't really matter much on the clock of it because it only has to be faster than the Arduino